This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. It really gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I did a video yesterday on Ripple getting approval in Singapore to, 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 to trade crypto, to accept and and move and move crypto except payment through crypto using xrp and a lot of people were, were and i said that i believe it's a positive catalyst i believe it could push the price up i believe xrp can go to the moon and then people were asking me well what price do you think a xrp can get to and i'm gonna tell you guys something i'm not saying xrp is bitcoin xrp is not bitcoin but can XRP hit $5,000 in the next 18 to 24 months? I believe so. I believe so. I believe that XRP has the potential to hit $5,000 within the next 18 to 24 months. And here's why. All these exchanges want secure transactions. They want secure transactions with stocks, with bonds, with a transfer of money. XRP can facilitate those transfers. And if, just like Ripple got the license in Singapore, they're going to get the license all over the world. And that's just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell XRP. But if I'm using XRP to trade, and I'm doing a multi-billion dollar transaction, did I want to be secure with a company in China, a company in Japan, a company in Africa, a company in India. And they want a secure transfer of funds. What are they going to need? They're going to need to be on the XRP platform also. They're going to need XRP. So as long as more people get involved in XRP, it's going to force other people who do, who do business with them to use XRP. Okay? So, in my opinion, once XRP starts running and businesses see that it's secure, they're going to have no choice but to join the XRP bandwagon in order to get secure payment transfers. That's the only way it's going to work. And then the more people that get it, it's going to require more people together to get it. It's going to require more people to get it and so on and so on exponentially. So if that happens, XRP is going to go to the moon. And I believe that's what's going to happen with all the fraud and corruption in the banking industry. Right now, you have people going online, stealing people's money. And they just did some nonsense at Truist for 270000 but that's for another video. But the bottom line is this. The payment system using XRP on the blockchain is going to be so secure that it's going to force everybody else to join the XRP network. And as more people join, they're going to push the price up. We retail investors, how much can we really put the price up to? $2, $3, $4, maybe $5. XRP is going to run when big businesses and governments start utilizing it for payments. That's when I believe XRP is going to run to $5,000 or me maybe even more. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. When XRP becomes mandatory, if you want secure payments, is it going to force XRP to $5,000 or more? You let me know. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.